So I'm here to do an unboxing of an AquaTrue countertop reverse osmosis water purifier. So this is a, a reverse osmosis water purifier that goes on the top. So think of, um, what is that thing called? That zero water, you, you put the water on top and it filters through. So this is reverse osmosis of that, which is pretty crazy. I bought it on the internet. Uh, it was referred to me by um, the health ranger in um, Natural News. And let's see if it's worth it. It's 194 bucks, kind of pricey. I bought it. Uh, well, actually, it's not that pricey because if you consider it, one of these systems will cost you about 150 the ones that hook up to the sinks. And then uh, this thing cost me about, it cost me 195 So let's do it. The top's already open, but let's see. This is the first time I'm going through all this stuff. I ordered this online. It took forever to get here. Normally, I don't do this kind of like crowd sourcing kind of stuff where you have to pay months in advance before it's even made. But here it is. So let's see what we got comes with this little guy right here. We're doing it outside because, you know, I love nature and indoors so ugly. And we're, you know, talking about water. Oh crap. Okay, so you have to plug this in. Never mind. it's not what I thought it was. I thought that you throw the water on top and it does it on its own, but it's electric, I guess. Ah, I did not expect that. Cause you know, the ones in the sink, they're not electric, but they have pressure. All right, here we go. Yeah, it took a couple of months to get here. I was kind of worried because they kept saying, oh, we're gonna, you know, we, we, we fell behind because something happened, something happened. We're gonna give you this for free. Yep, this is it. I got a, a glass water container. It's glass, but they put silicone on the outside. So when you bump it around, it won't break. Um, I have one like this already. feels pretty good. The point is I want to get rid of plastic in my life, if all possible. So let's see. All right, this looks pretty. All right, you get in here. Oh yeah, get in here. So we got, so this is one filter. I just hope these filters aren't expensive. There's one filter, this is the carbon filter. Reverse osmosis filter, blue, yellow pre-carbon filter. And yeah, I'm hoping that I could get some clean water in my bedroom since I don't have any running water in there. So the water will go in here. So much for getting rid of plastic in my life. But whatever. With a handle, I don't know, that's cool. I guess you fill it up with water put in the system, close it. That's pretty cool. Smart idea. So now I could go out there. You see over there, there's an outside water faucet. I could fill it up, haul it back in my room. And yeah, so let's go here. What else we got? All right, everything's pretty light. It's kind of, it's pretty cool. So far, nothing's really heavy. It was a big box, but they want to make sure nothing breaks when they're sending it to me, which I appreciate. And, all right, so this is, I'm assuming, where the clean water goes. Filtered water tank, yep, I was right. Now, here we go. Oh, wait, it's kind of heavy. Yeah, I, I want I want to avoid drinking out of bottled water as much as possible because one, I guess plastic is bad for the environment. I don't want to drink out of plastic, but this whole thing is plastic. You got these little things that absorb moisture. Um, you can see over here it tells you where the filters go, which is okay. That's cool. And then, yeah, I guess. All right. So I'm going to challenge myself. I'm not a fan of instructions. It's a bad habit, but I want to, you know, I want to do this without instructions because it looks so simple, right? I mean, 
I mean, I am using some kind of instruction. So let's see, I'm just gonna peel this off. Take the cap off right over here. Forge, come on. Okay, cool. It's too cold to grip it hard. All right, so then there's threadings in there, so I'll just put it right, twist. All right, that's simple. Let's go to the next one. Maybe they should be facing out the other way. That way, you get the logo facing out. All right, this one comes off easily because they didn't put it on right. Oh. All right, yellow's over here. Yeah, there we go, next one. This system apparently tells you when it you need to replace filters. Oh wow, that one just, oh, stupid me. They're not twist offs, they just pop right off, no wonder. Maybe I should have read the instructions. All right, all right. Okay. So then you put them back up there. I'm assuming, there you go. Let's put the cap on. All right, all right, looking good, looking good. Now, I'm assuming this one is shaped like a, like a pie. No. Um, ooh, ooh. All right, we're just gonna ignore that one for now. Let's put some water in here. Throw that down there. Cool. There's no running water. I don't know why. What the fuck? Something happened. Oh gosh. All right, someone's messing with me. Oh cool, there's a bunch of little pieces of plastic shards in there, so let's just... Oof, that water reeks. Something smells off. Smell that, Armando? Mm, it's not bad, I mean... I think, I think what it is is that... It's not like regular water, though. <sighs> No, there's something like rotted over here or something. I don't know. It smells like, you know what? I think someone's burning something. Oh, that's what it is. All right. All right, so then, oh, I get it now. I get it. Here you go. Check this out. So it goes like this. Oh, gosh. All right, that's easy. And then this goes up here in the corner. I just thought that the handle goes in more. And there you go. That's the whole system right there. Let me flip it around so you guys can see it. Nice, huh? It looks good, huh? Now, let's plug it in. I love plugging things in in the rain. I was kind of hoping that this was, I mean, it makes sense that it's electric because you know, you need some pressure. But in my mind, I was like, oh, it's gonna be cool. It's a countertop water purifier. You don't need to plug it in. But when you think about it, it's like, how would they have made the water pressurized through the through the filter? So, yeah, I was just wasn't thinking. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, actually, the back is. I'm confused. This is the back. The front's nicer. Imagine if I just drop this right now. 
I'll just put it in the box and tell AquaTrue that they ripped me off and I want my money back and delete the video. All right, all right. Well, you're gonna wanna come over here cause. Where? Over here cause. <gasps> yeah. I suggest you don't work with electricity when it's raining like this. But I'm a professional and I believe that if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. And it's not a good time to be alive right now because you got Trump and Bernie winning, supposedly, and Hillary. So, no point of living. If I die, I die. If left unplugged for more than 48 hours, the filter memory will reset. That's what the back says. So, I'm assuming that once it's plugged in, the, the filters, it, it knows, all right, you started the filters at this time. I'm gonna keep counting how many, how many gallons of water this machine makes and whatever. And it has like a built-in rechargeable battery that keeps track of that. And then after 48 hours, the battery will die. So, it's good to know. Don't leave this unplugged for more than 48 hours or else the machine's gonna think your filters are brand new.